Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss screening of a large library of compounds which are small molecules through FAF Drugs for online web tool or web server. This web server screens the library of compounds on the basis of their admit properties. So we can say that it is the Admi Tox filtering tool. Admi properties are absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and toxicity. And also the it it uh, screens the compound uh, based on their drug-like properties. So first uh, we will compile a library or we will make a library of compounds. Then we are going to uh, use this tool for screening so let's suppose uh, we have either we can use this swiss similarity or swiss drug design tool for uh, maintaining or compiling a library of compounds or we can use zinc database to produce a library of compounds or we can use some other tools like drug bank or some other tools which can be used for to produce a large library of compounds based on their properties like here if we are going to use zinc database uh, we will make a compound and uh, the smileys of the compound will be pasted here or we can choose a file which contains uh, smileys on the basis of their zinc id structure names analogs or suppliers and uh, some other uh, tools we can select and then uh, we can also use this that uh, for sale or uh, the agent or the uh, in vivo in vitro or these are uh, some other parameters or we can select all subsets or nothing and then uh, we can uh, here we can put here the uh, output file format so output file format may be smiley's file format or sdf file format so if we are going to use sdf then we can directly use it on this uh, web portal uh, here we can directly use sdf file on this tf drugs for portal and uh, if we are going to choose smiley's uh, format then we can make our library uh, in SDF format then we are going to put here search many we will click here then we can uh, obtain our library we can also uh, draw a structure here and uh, then we can uh, go to the smileys of this compound and then we will paste here and then we will go to search many and uh, after some time it will produce it will give us a library of compounds and uh, then here we have library of compounds and we can open it like we have smiley's file and we are going to open it in notepad so these are the uh, libraries of compounds uh, with different zinc ids and uh, so we can select from here we can select the smileys and uh, also we can uh, choose here in zinc database we can select here the sdf file format or mole to or mole or json file like here if i am going to select here the sdf file it will uh, produce a sdf file format of our library so now i am going to open it so this is now the sdf format uh, it is second compound and then we have other so we can in this way we can make a library of compounds we can also use Swiss similarity tool now here we have selected our this smiley's file format of our compound for which we are going to which we are going to use as a scaffold are the major compound and now we are going to uh, make a library of compounds similar to this compound 
so here we have we have pasted the smileys here again here we also we can also use a sketcher here so this is our compound and where smileys are present here for this compound we can also make a compound here in the same way that in zinc database and then we will get a smileys file for our compound from here we are going to select which kind of uh, compounds we need like here these may be drugs uh, which are already reported drug or uh, which are commercially available synthesizable or bioactive compounds and then we are going to filter more from here we can choose 3d or 2d structures from here like here i am going to select pharmaco 4 from chebi or uh, we can also select campbell actives only or full database of campbell our kinases are gpcrs g protein coupled receptor proteins and then we are going to start screening from here when we start screening we will get our results after some time now it will take some time to produce results so this is our query compound or molecule <clears throat> for this curie molecule we have these similar compounds so this is our library of compounds which are similar to this compound now we will choose this file format and we can copy we can make a library of compound so here we have in excel format or we have in this format results copy to clipboard after copying to clipboard or excel format we will go to notepad and in this way we will paste here and then we get a library of compounds which are in smileys format now we have these compounds already i have selected these compounds for so this is our uh, library of compounds and the smileys of these compounds are given here this is compound one two three four and so on <coughs> after this now we are moving to our fav drugs four so how it filters fav drugs four works on different parameters it has different options uh, here we can search that what is admitox and how it works so it is based on absorption distribution metabolism excretion and toxicity tools <clears throat> and uh, on the basis of this it filters our hit compound and it gives us that it is drug like or not we can also uh, uh, user we can also uh, watch this user guide and then we can uh, visit this and uh, how it works but i am going to show you that how it will work for your compounds so first i will go to bank formatter so this is our PBS web portal and uh, so first we will go to here if we look at here drugs so we will go to drugs we are not going to peptide sequence structures etc are the tutorials so first we will open this drug so here we have different options so we can minimize our 2d or 3d structures by this and uh, we have different options we can select frog 2d for the confirmation generation of our compound so it is free online drug confirmation generation and dc mos it is small compound single confirmer 3d generator and mos is the small compounds minimizer so it energy minimizes our compounds so we will go to fav drugs 4 and fav drugs 4 we have also different options like bank cleaner it is a tool for library curation it removes inorganic large compounds mixtures or salts or duplicates etc so we can clean our library of compounds by using this tool and then bank formatter so we will use bank formatter 
to produce our uh, library of compounds in a format that uh, uses this web portal. So uh, we will click on this bank file formatter for FAV drug 3 services and then we will move to FAV drugs 4 or FAV QED. So after uh, opening this bank formatter, we, this page will be opened and here we have, we can choose our file. From uh, the desktop, I have this uh, library of compounds, this one. So we can choose from here or we can directly paste here our file and we will select this one that we have pasted our file. Or we can also choose the uh, SDF file format and we can also paste SDF format here. So it uses uh, STF or smiley's file. Here we will select that uh, what is our input file. Either it will be smiley's file or SDF file. So we have two options for this. Uh, we can either we can choose smiley's file or SDF file. So we have uh, put here smiley's file. Therefore we are going to select this one and then we will run. After running this program, it will take some time and it will give us a bank formatter and uh, we get a file which is which can be used for screening of compounds it will take some time and then it will uh, i have already saved this file like here i am going to show you in downloads we have already downloaded it after it uh, the job is finished uh, we will get our results and here we have an option of downloads then we will go to downloads and then we can open our file so here i have made a folder so this is our input for so this is our uh, formatted so bank formatted file so this is our uh, 10b which is formatted file for uh, file and uh, so we will choose this file then be formatted for the uh, screening of our compounds so this is our this is our input uh, file which is uh, like here i have already shown you our library and this is our another file which is our library of compounds so these are the uh, our library of compounds which is in sdf format and this format will be useful for the screening of our compound so we can check all show all okay so in discovery studio i have opened this in discovery studio file so this is our library and then i am moving to gain here now we have this output of our results so here we have our results so this is our file in sdf format and we can download these results now these results have been downloaded so we can check or uh, we can open show in folder and then we can make a folder and we can extract our files and these files will be like this so this is our file i have i have already shown you then after uh, downloading this file we will move to fav drugs 4 so fav drugs 4 will be this one so we will click on this and we get our admit tox filtering tool for so this page will be open so after opening this page we can check the server is working or not by here running here and then we are going to choose our file so that file will be chosen like here i am going to show you that i am going to choose this file this this one which is in sdf format so when i will choose this file i have already chosen this file it is shown here different compounds with stf format uh, after this we will go to this computation program it can use open babel or xlog p3 
so log p method we are going to select then here in house and published physicochemical properties so we will go to here we have different options lead like drug like properties this one zinc lipinski rule of five rule of three cns respiratory so we, we can select from here uh, the filter for our compound like here i am going to select here lead like soft uh, then we can select here uh, this is another filter hit profiler and uh, we can for more information about uh, these filters we can go to fav drug documentation from here and uh, i am going to open it it will give us that uh, what kind of filters these are so these are the filters molecular weight log p hydrogen bond acceptors donors hydrogen bond and uh, polar surface area rotatable bonds rigid bonds and then heteroatoms and charges and these are the so these are the different parameters on the basis of which it uh, then we will move to other options like here filter undesirable desirable substructure moieties yes retrieve retrieve covalent inhibitors no or yes uh, we can select that uh, either the inhibitor will be covalent or not for detail we can check here filter pan sa interference compounds so pans filter a so it is uh, pan filter is used for uh, removing the false positive uh, compounds which shows inhibition but they are not the inhibitor so for more information about pans we can uh, move to this one so it will give us the information similarly uh, the another pans filter b fab and third is the pan filter c so we can select either one of these or all three so here we have the information about pan filters so pan moieties standing for pan sa interference compounds are compounds that appear as a frequent hitters in many biochemical high throughput screenings so they uh, are they look like they are the hit compounds but they are not actually the inhibitors of our enzyme or they are not the uh, hit compounds so these are the pan filters so we can select these pan filters and then uh, this is the medchem rules so we can also uh, check the, that this one it is either regular or uh, it is relaxed or so we can also take information about this that what is lily medchem rules so we can also show that what is lily medchem rules so from here we can how on the on what, what basis it rejects the compounds and uh, merits or demerits or cut off values so it is a set of 275 rules developed over 18 year periods at lily and used to identify compound that may be interfere with biological assays allowing their removal from the screening sets so in this way after uh, screening all these parameters or selecting these parameters we will uh, we can also input our parameters from here and uh, then if we don't need then we will uh, remain it as, at, as it is then we will move to run so after running this command we will get uh, all compounds which are screened after passing through these filters and uh, we get our results so here the job is executing these are the input parameters and then uh, we have it will show our results after some time i am going to show you that i have already uh, saved our output in output folder so it will be like this we have extracted this and then we have uh, accepted accepted uh, with ph and uh, this is our file 10b formatted then duplicates 
the compounds which are in duplicates and uh, we have intermediate and then we have rejected compounds in this file so all the files we have and the, here we have a summary of our results like here it is fab drugs for summary that compound 1 is rejected compound 2 is rejected why it is rejected the detail is given here compound 5 is rejected and uh, here if we look at compound 15 accepted compound so this compound is accepted and the other compounds and here compound 18 and 19 are intermediate and compound 20 is also rejected so here we have a summary of compounds now we open this uh, result file it is not still it is working and uh, i am going to show you other some other so here we have accepted uh, and the rejected ones so if we open this accepted one so i have already opened it in discovery studio visualizer the accepted compound so here it is compound 15 which is accepted compound and it is drug like compound and these are the compounds which are rejected so these uh, from 20 compounds these compounds are the rejected compounds and 18 and 19 are intermediate compounds so which are the intermediate compounds we can also open these compounds so we will open in discovery studio the compounds which are intermediate so these two compounds are intermediate compounds so i'm going to show both so select show all so uh, these two compounds i think it is a almost similar in structure but here we have different moieties other are similar so if you look at this we have we have uh, oxygen so here we have bromine in compound 19 and uh, here in compound 18 so here we have chlorine so in this way here it is chlorine in compound 18 and bromine in compound 19 so these are the two intermediate compounds and these are uh, these are our rejected compounds and only this one is our accepted compound so in this way we get our results so now i think it uh, has been it is still uh, running your job finished with an unusual status so i don't know why it is uh, so i'm going to remove job and again we can again we can so these are our previous results that we obtained so uh, we can so here we have uh, our previous results that uh, i am going to show you in that uh, discovery studio so accepted molecules in sdf protonated accepted molecules intermediate molecules protonated intermediate with ph 7.4 then rejected molecules protonated rejected molecules and duplicate and uh, all these are the mixture impurity structures are isotopes are salts and then the covalent inhibitors none descriptors here we have descriptors on the basis of which the so these are the descriptives descriptors of our compounds so these are the descriptors for our compounds we can open it in some other format then filtering status these are the filtering parameters input molecules were 20 duplicate was 1 and then uh, filtered molecules are 19 rejected are 16 accepted is 1 then intermediate molecule is 2 and assay interference compound is 0 and covalent inhibitor is 0 these are the descriptive analysis this is the problematic moieties are not library of compounds computed descriptors these are the descriptors and filtering input parameters 
so Lipinski and some other rules are present which are on the basis of which these are filters and the, here we have summary of our compounds so after this uh, we can also download from here and when we download our file it is a zip file then we can extract in our output folder like here I have made an output folder and I have extracted this file uh, this fav trucks for file and then we get all these results okay so in this way we can screen our compound library of compounds uh, through uh, by using admitox filter and then uh, we will get our results so so in this way we get our results and uh, in our next video i will also show you some other parameters of this fav trucks for and uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share my video so thanks for watching